What's going on, smart people? Today is Friday, it's the weekend, and I don't wanna be spending my entire weekend doing homework. So hopefully, today I can get all of my quantum mechanics done, and that is the point of today's video. This is gonna be a pretty mathematical homework assignment, but I'm not gonna be going over the specific problems themselves, but rather what they're about. This homework assignment is only three questions, which should tell you that they're gonna be doozies. Uh, but two of the three questions are on commutators, and everyone in quantum knows what commutators are and how to work with them. So the homework problems are on more sophisticated commutator relations using things like proof by induction again. Uh, but if you're not familiar with commutators, let me try to explain it real quick. Commutators are a fancy way of finding out how much AB minus BA doesn't equal zero. If it does equal zero, we say that those two operators commute. And this is really counterintuitive if you're only used to dealing with A and B where A and B are just gonna be some number. But if instead of them being numbers, their successive operations being done on something, then the order can start to matter. For example, if A equals five and B equals six, then the order that you multiply those two together doesn't matter, you're still gonna get 35. But if A instead means take the derivative with respect to x of, and b means multiply by x, then if we were to do, you know, uh, a, b acting on a function, minus b, a acting on a function, this will not generally give us the exact same thing, because b, this is going to be d dx times x f of x, minus x times uh, d dx f of x. So this is going to have to incorporate some kind of product rule in there and this is just going to give you x times the derivative which is not going to be the same thing. Just to be a bit more thorough, if you were to take this derivative here you would get you know uh, f of x plus x f prime of x minus this term which is minus x f prime of x and that's not equal to zero. Right, you have this extra factor here. And in quantum mechanics, operators correspond to observables, things that you can actually measure. And it's really special if two operators, A and B, commute with each other, because what it means is that you can make measurements on those two observables at the same time. Usually, that doesn't equal zero, which means you've got to find other things to measure at the same time, or that you'll have to pick one or the other to measure. Probably the most famous example of two operators not commuting are the ones associated with position and momentum. The order that you take them matter, and it actually looks really similar to the example I just did, but what it corresponds to is that you can't make simultaneous measurements of position and momentum to some arbitrary certainty. But I think that that is enough of a crash course to commutators for now. Sorry if that was a little long and I got a little carried away. I just know that a lot of people that watch the videos aren't really there yet, uh, maybe in, in their physics or their math. So I'd, I'd like to still make sure that they get something out of these kinds of videos. So if I can take some time to explain something that the video is going to be on, I'm, I'm going to try to do that. But really, a lot of my homework, two out of three problems on my homework are commutator relations. How much does A, B not equal B, A? Where A and B are a little bit complicated. Maybe it's the exponential of, of an operator. Like, what the hell does E to the D, D, X mean? Uh, it turns out you have to explain it in terms of power series expansions. It, get, it gets a little bit more involved, but that's, that's what it boils down to. The third problem has nothing to do with commutators. It's all on what are called unitary matrices, which are transformations that have pretty cool properties, like they preserve the dot product or the inner product as well as angles between vectors, and you can use them to do things like diagonalize matrices, things that are pretty technical and kind of hard to put into perspective if you haven't had any linear algebra, but maybe I'll think about it more and try to tether it to something more familiar. Um, in a future video or something. Or maybe someone in the comments section will think of a clever way to explain unitary matrices to someone who might not have had linear algebra. So I challenge you to do that. I'm gonna get back to this homework. This should be the final quantum homework before we really get into the physics finally. So I'm excited to actually make videos on the physics of quantum mechanics rather than constantly doing more of like a math review effectively. Let me know in the comments section who would win in a fight, Schrodinger or Heisenberg? And I'll see you guys there.